The clawing of crabs is the process whereby one or both claws of a live crab, including king crabs, are manually pulled off and the animal is then returned to the water. It occurs in several fisheries worldwide, such as in the Florida stone crab, Menipe mercenaria fishery, the Northeast Atlantic deep water red crab, Chassiana finny fishery and in southern Iberia, where the major claws of the fiddler crab UCA tangeri are harvested. Around northern Europe, an extensive fishery exists for claws of the edible crab, Cancer pagoras. The practice is defended because some crabs can naturally autotomize, shed, limbs and then about a year later after a series of molts, regenerate these limbs. It is argued that declawing therefore provides a sustainable fishery. Claw removal is also promoted to assist in handling of animals, and to decrease losses through entanglement in fishing nets and cannibalism. Declawing crabs is legal in the UK since revocation in 2000 of the Crab Clause Prohibition of Landing, Order 1986. One crab that is subject to widespread declawing is the Florida stone crab, for which tourist information is provided. Procedure To perform declawing, the claws are snapped downward away from the crab. To ensure a clean break along the natural fracture plane, one finger is placed on the basal chelift joint. With the chelift fully extended, a quick, firm downward motion normally removes the claw cleanly. The break usually occurs at the bassi iscum between the coxa at the base of the leg and the maris. Production in the 1976-77 trapping season, about 50,000 kilograms of claws were harvested in the Everglades National Park. This was probably less than 5% of the total Floridian harvest, which has averaged more than 1 million kilograms since 1974. In Florida during the 1995-96 to 2004-05 fishing seasons, fishers declawed approximately 10.5 million crabs during each 7-month fishing season. The weight of crab claws landings varied without trend since 1989-90. Peak landings were 1.6 million kilograms statewide in the 1997-98 fishing season. Statewide landings for 2004-05 were 1.4 million kilograms of claws. Effects on mortality under experimental conditions, but using commercially accepted techniques, 47% of Florida stone crabs that had both claws removed died after declawing, and 28% of single claw amputees died, 76% of the casualties died within 24 hours of declawing. The claws constituted 51% of the total weight of the crabs before declawing. In the wild, where declawed crabs must compete for food, mates, and shelter, and avoid predators, the mortality rate is likely to be higher. Declawed crabs survive by switching from predation to scavenging. The occurrence of regenerated claws in the fishery harvest is low, with studies calculating from less than 10% 1978, 13% 2006, to 20% 2010. Larger, older crabs generally do not survive long enough to regrow their claws, as they are near the end of their lifespan. Effects on feeding Most crabs use their claws for capturing and eating prey. A crab with one claw removed would therefore be disadvantaged in subsequent feeding and a crab with both claws removed even more so. In a study on the effects of declawing on feeding, autotomy-induced declawed crabs consumed significantly fewer muscles and less muscle mass, but ate more mass of fish, a more readily handled food source. This indicates that the effect of autotomy was a reduction of the ability to feed on muscles, rather than a general reduction of feeding motivation. In a second study, there was no discernible difference in the amount of food consumed by crabs surviving declawing and control crabs. It has been argued that should a crab survive declawing it will not be able to feed effectively and may subsequently die of starvation. Effects on activity declawed crabs show significantly lower activity levels than negative controls. Pain and stress caused by declawing There is debate about whether invertebrates can experience pain. Some of the most compelling evidence for pain in invertebrates exists for crustaceans in terms of trade-offs between stimulus avoidance and other motivational requirements. Evidence of the ability for crabs to feel pain is supported by their possessing an opioid receptor system, showing learned avoidance to putatively painful stimuli, and responding appropriately to analgesics and anesthetics. These all indicate it is likely that crabs can experience pain during decline. 
It has been argued that because crabs can autotomize, self-amputate, their claws, manual declawing along these natural fracture planes will not cause pain. However, a lack or reduction of pain during autotomy remains to be verified. Moreover, declawing results in a physiological stress response in the edible crab, as indicated by increases in hemolymph glucose and lactate and a decrease in glycogen. This stress is evident both in the short term. See also Crab fisheries Crustacean Pain in animals Pain in crustaceans Pain in invertebrates References <laughs>